let's start with what is exactly F5. Why it is called load balancer? When we did not have load balancer, how was traffic? What was disadvantage and advantages? What are advantages to deploy F5? So let's go one by one. First, we will start with the introduction. Then we will talk about hardware. Then we will talk about lab setup. This might, if I get time, I will do today. Otherwise, tomorrow. So guys, anyone wants to tell me what is F5? F5 is a company guys this was introduced in 1997 guys so f5 company launched a product called load balancer which is called lb also and you can say big ip product and it is an american based company and guys, some people have questions. They will ask you, can I say F5 as an application delivery controller? Yes. F5, another name is application delivery controller. So what, how, why it is called application delivery? I will tell you because my main purpose is I want to deploy my application inside F5 so that it can give reply to my client. So I will tell you in future what is application delivery controller means. Now F5 is a company and it has introduced a product called Big IP. And in Big IP, you have different modules, which is called LTM. GTM, ASM, and APM. These are the different models, or you can say modules. So, see, if you cannot say that F5 is a load balancer, F5 has many other things. What does LTM mean? Let's talk about that. Local traffic manager so let's come into that terminology let me open a whiteboard and i will explain you so from here guys your content starts first of all if you go this question will be asked what is load balancer can anyone tell me what is load balancer by the name so load balancer is just a device where you can distribute traffic load balancer is one of the device that distribute traffic across multiple servers So people might have heard, heard about network load balancer. Now F5 is known as a application layer load balancer. That is why F5 works as layer seven load balancer. So previously guys, when we did not have load balancer, what was the situation? Let's discuss this. So load balancer is nothing. Load balancer is a device that distribute traffic across multiple servers. So how it is, I have F5, I have client one, I have client two, I have client three. Then this is internet. Then I have three servers. So some people will say app server, some people will say web server. You can say this. So what is the meaning of app server or web server? These are the servers where your actual application is deployed. 
actual application means means your website very very important guys people get confused what is server what is back end server so this is also called back end servers so these are the logical servers where your website is originally hosted guys very very important concept so what is web server web server is one of the server where your application is hosted this is just a virtual that is why we are calling him as a virtual server you can also say that f5 is a man in middle device so when i talk about f5 guys there will be two types of traffic one is called front end traffic one is called back end traffic can anyone tell me what is difference between front end traffic versus back end traffic front end traffic means there will be a separate tcp connection from client to f5 back end means there will be a separate tcp connection from f5 to your application server so now what is the definition of load balancer from this picture load balancer means that load balancer is one of the device with which which will distribute incoming traffic across a group of your back end server can i say that load balancer is one of the device which is distributing your incoming traffic across a group of your back end servers or can i say that load balancer is a device where it will distribute so if someone ask you this is the best answer this load balancer is one of the device which will distribute your client request efficiently across multiple servers so that is a simple language of load balancer now what is let's say when we did not have load balancer into picture what was disadvantage at that time then you will understand properly when we don't have load balancer into picture what was disadvantage at that time let's discuss i have a good pictorial representation for this you will understand i have two pictures here guys picture 1 picture 2 in picture 1 you can see that there is no f5 in picture you have client then you have a router then you have a firewall then you have application server one server where your application crnets.com is hosted so in that case what is the disadvantage can anyone tell me when i don't have a load balancer what are the disadvantages i have you can see that there are multiple client client 1 client 2 client 3 all your request are going to which server server 1 what is the disadvantage first disadvantage is let's say this server can handle only 100 request per second but my website i have my new website crnets.com which is newly hosted on internet now let's say one day i got more than 200 request is there any way firewall can detect that this server is full please distribute traffic to another server one disadvantage is you will get slowness issues your server will get over utilized and once it reaches 100% cpu 
this server can be down so my customer says that i want my application to be 24 into 7 accessible i want my application to be 24 into 7 accessible is it possible here in picture one let's say this server goes down is there any redundancy is there any mechanism firewall has to tracking or router has any mechanism to track whether this server is down or not so that is where guys this is disadvantages of not having your load balance so from this picture you can understand first you will not have a performance you will have performance issue second availability you will not have 24 into 7 availability third disadvantage is security there is no security on this server if this server got hacked there is no mechanism to track it so to resolve this performance issues availability issues security issue f5 has introduced a product called ltm local traffic manager so it will give you all this first advantage is you will have multiple servers to handle your load your client request some request will go here some request will go here some request will go here so what i can say your performance is good first important point let's say this server is 100 percent utilized so f5 has a mechanism to track it and it will not forward request to this it will forward request to this so performance is very good when you have a ltm second advantage can anyone tell me what is the second advantage availability 24 into 7 available even if this server goes down still your website will be accessible what is the third advantage can anyone tell security can anyone tell how there is a security in this device there is a module called waf and another security is there in ltm also is that your client will never come to know you about your servers because f5 is acting as a man in middle client will never come to know that his request is going to which server so client does not have a visibility direct visibility of your server so in other words i can say that client will first connect to load balancer and it will believe it as it's connecting to your actual server so that is why there are two types of connection one from client to f5 one connection from f5 to server <coughs> so that was all about difference between when you have a load balancer and when you don't have a load balancer into picture and guys here you can see this is a very very important question interview question which will be asked so that they can judge you whether you're working in production environment or not what are the different models available in f5 which you have worked upon so guys you can deploy f5 as a virtual edition physical edition and hybrid you can deploy f5 in cloud infrastructure 
hardware level plus virtual edition. I will show you how you can deploy F5 in cloud. I can how you can deploy in virtual edition and hardware. Also, I cannot show you, but I will tell you what are the things available in hardware. And the base series is 2000 series. The first model comes with 2000 series. And in virtual edition, first is 25 Mbps throughput. Let's say your application can handle only 25 Mbps throughput or client needs that their application can handle their ISP link is 25 Mbps. So you can suggest this model. Next series is 4,000, 5,000, higher box, 10,000, 11,000. There are Viprion box. In this, you can have one hardware box with multiple F5 devices, logical. One hardware, it's like a chases. You have a bigger chases where you can deploy multiple customers. So it's like in your laptop, you'd build a VMware host, right? In VMware host, you add LTM, you add Polo Alto one machine, you add Windows machine. So all this are your guests. So that is a concept of Viprion box where you will have one bigger hardware F5 and where you can deploy multiple logical F5 and picture. Very, very important guys. You can take a snapshot. This question will be 100% asked. Which models you are working on F5? Now guys, advantages of deploying F5. You can see in the picture, you have user, you have F5, and you have an application. First advantage is you can scale your application. Downtime. You don't need downtime in F5. If one server goes down or there is a maintenance, F5 will make sure that your traffic should go to another server at that time. Application performance, security, server capacity. You can deliver your application as per your needs. So that is why I told you, if someone asks you what are the three advantages of F5, first availability, second scalability or performance, third is security. So always remember these three advantages, availability, scalability, and third one is security. Your client will never come to know that your request is going to which server. He does not have a visibility of your direct server. That is all about your load balancer traffic.